Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our beloved No Short Run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with nothing but a couple of swords and psionic abilities. It is time for a safe private Ryan mission as we're going to rescue a VIP from an advent cell. Got three melee contestants here, Quick Feet, Diva, and Scorch. Got Saints, Sukugur, and Jammer, who need a little bit more experience. And we're probably going to fight against the Hunter, as mentioned in my last uh, video. So, since we don't need to beat him, we just need to kind of escape. Uh, I think that is a reasonable win condition. Let's dive directly into it. Fantastic, we are landing and it is time for some action. Look at that, we got a double agent and a resistance operative, so we're even in here with eight people instead of uh, six. Fantastic, two running mimic beacons. This guy here even has a plasma rifle, that is cool. Advent Mag Rifle. So yeah, it's not a shortage of damage. Uh, we can't take shots though, but it's not a shortage of damage. It's probably the pro uh, the issue of getting this guy out of the cell and then just moving out of here. Double move, because we want to move fast and furious. Double time. Got it moving. Our mimic beacons are moving as well. Scorch Anchor. moves all the way over here. Quick feet Will do. moves over there, and Jammer takes solid the position count. there. Pretty solid first mm -hmm. round. Double move, and we're going to see what the heck uh, could offer us. Getting rid of that tower and essentially just walking through it would not be too bad. Accessing system. Let's take a look. Good, so that's extra alien alloys, and 100% chance means we have absolutely nothing to fear. Not the best reward since we don't really need alloys, but it's also not a bad reward, right? Because we can now simply move through the tower, freed up a lot of space. And we're moving closer. Scorch moves up here, and let's get quick feet also all the way, all the way to here. Fantastic, good. Double time. I think it's sensible that some of our Specialists are taking the high ground. Good copy. Sukugur moves a bit further, and our mimic All begins right. to exactly what they're supposed to do, i.e., moving up and being mimic beacons. I will move them ahead just in the next engagement. All right, fantastic. Good. So let's use quick feet here, shall we? And this here should be a double kill plus potentially even a kill for uh, for the Archon. Depending on how much damage we're dealing with the Katana. That's a pretty nice hit. Good, and now it should be three attacks. That's one down. Hostiles 
That's two down. And if he hits well enough, that is even three down. So, I think that is a pretty convincing display about Five Blade Storm. It's an absolutely monster ability. An entire pack just gone after a single pull. Yeah, we're moving closer. We're moving in there without yet getting all the way in there. So Cougar moves over. We do have an extra move available. I just want to move a bit further. Getting a bit closer with Jammer. And yeah, our Mimic Beacons should move up. And of course, Scorch should move up. I'll lead the way. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Nine enemies, three of which are dead, and surprisingly enough, we're immediately seeing the Chosen here. We already know that he's not going to be easy to be killed, but the idea is that we will actually be able to one-on-one -on -one him with our Templar and just keep him busy, so to speak. We need to get to their location to take them out. Orders confirmed. On the move. Good. Opening the door. Normally, I mean, I would assume that there are enemies in here. It's just a normal turn of events, right? But we're closing the door for now. Quick feed also moves up. Location confirmed. Move, move, move. Moving. But the mimic beacons are moving in as well. Running. And Finally, Sane and Sukuger, both of which are also moving in. Good. We're ending the turn. Chosen should probably grapple up to the rooftop. Moving in. Hmm. I bet that light show of yours is real impressive among these poor saps. Strangely Eight enough, are. no enemy contact whatsoever. Sukuger does the hack and potentially gets a bonus. Oh nice, enemy protocol. That's fantastic, he's up to 160 tech score now. Well, well, well. Yeah, let's move over here. And... I mean, we could move all the way to here, right? And then jump out of the window. Heading 
Good. Still no enemy contact, uh, which is in minimum strange, shall I say? Sane begins to move up as well, and of course our Mimic Beacons. I'm uh, moving all the way. Okay, cool. So one pack is uh, just a level below us. I guess it's on now. I guess we'll find out pretty soon how smart your people really are, Commander. That's one of the chosen. Heads up. Things are about to get even more interesting around here. Highly interesting that he just jumps in and begins to engage. Yeah, he's going for the Mimic Beacon, I like it. The living Mimic Beacon. Alright, fantastic. Good, let's... Start with that. And once we're done with Haywire Pro Protocol, moving over and... Uh, eight protocol, of course. We're moving over and trying to take control of this guy. Oh boy, we could so easily kill uh, the chosen if I was just allowed to use any of the abilities other than melee. You are a lucky son of a son of a chosen mother. Good, let's trigger the other overwatch. That's what the mimic beacons are for. Alright, I'll go. Yeah, we're being spotted out, but that is fine. reason why we did that in the first place is to free up some space and that gives us another chance for haywire protocol all right that 50 50 did not work out Moving over. And let's try that again. Yep. Three specialists can be nasty. Specifically if you are playing with uh, robotic enemies. Good. So not only did we kill his reinforcements, but we effectively said, yep, thank you. We're taking those. Good. Oh, really? Well, a couple of things. Number one, the axe might start to make him burn. Burning is not the worst, uh, the worst 
situation for him. I know that he's immune. But he will simply not stay there for any longer. So it really doesn't matter. I'm trying to get the team closer to here. Good, quick feet, just hunkers down. Can't do anything else. Two more rounds and then everybody is going to leave here. Not sure if we're strong enough to actually get him down. Can't leave yet. Just out of curiosity. Hmm. Is that going to be enough? He has a lot of hit points. Let's head over, hand over some advanced teamwork, and we're continuing with combat protocol. I don't think that we could really get him down, but this is me sort of attempting to at least retaliate a bit um, on him. The reason why I'm trying to kind of unload as fast as possible is, is because he's starting to regenerate and that'll cause issues. We're probably we would probably get him like two thirds down and then we're more or less done explosives are unfortunately off can't use a suppression as well Let's move there and there. Reason why I would want to stand uh, there is that'll nicely hit all of them with the arc wave. Finally, getting some focus. With focus, we would get Volt, and Volt could help us to solve this issue here. I saw the swords that your sister's carrying around. Matter of fact, she had, she was so kind and uh, and uh, gave us her swords so after we decapitated like. her. Yeah. Just in case, if anything happens, we have plenty of uh, ready actions. Probably going to shoot any of those guys here. Well, that does do shit. Um, 
I would even let him be uh, dazed if that means uh, that uh, the Chosen would disappear. Stop burning, which is a poor sign. This is starting to get interesting. Four to seven points of damage. That's our last kind of straw in terms of damage, but I think it's not going to be enough. The elders have done much worse. One down. Thousands to go. There is a patrol down here, gotta be careful. so easily kill him at the same time can't really do much here Order confirmed. On the move. so Cougar moves over and it's just end the turn yeah he's now starting to regenerate so that's as low as we can get him just with combat protocols the worst uh, situation. How many okay, we can flee. We can flee. People have died protecting you. We cannot flee. about those two back here just barely out of reach okay. let's just move closer so that we can essentially get every everyone out of here uh, by the way why the heck did we not open the vip chamber so i can what is wrong Oh boy. The VIP is secure and we're on the move. I hope it's worth it. We literally did all of the fighting and then forgot about getting out uh, getting the VIP out, right? Good. Moving to here in the hopes of sort of prepping this guy in there. And we're parrying. Okay, cool. Is that all you got? Good. We got no more offensive skills here. Only one who can uh, damage him is our Templar. And we don't, don't have enough juice to actually go through with it. Unfortunately, the regeneration helps him. Luckily for us, the timer is frozen. Minus 
Ground 5, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Okay, is the enemy pack still standing down here? I saw them earlier. And they were quite literally standing here. So this will tell us whether or not we're going to be spotted out. The short answer is yes. Good, uh, let's see. One of these guys would be a one shot, but we can probably kill all three of them. Let's start with some school mining. There we go, that reduces the explosion. Tiny bit of damage in return, but that's okay. Uh, our Mimic Beacon, by the way, goes in here and continues to keep the guy in there. This here is a setup for an actual kill. Nice, some extra focus certainly helps. Good, starting with Reaper. That's a solid kill. Big deal. I got it. And we're continuing. I think I got a piece. Okay, we could just run out of here. VIP begins to move out. We're ignoring the hunter. And we're instead just trying to kill as many of them as possible. The blade storm will kill him. Eight for a call down there. And make Beacon essentially right next to him so that everybody would be moving up and takes 
a couple of hits. Good, reinforcements are incoming, but I don't think that they are going to be a huge issue. Things are starting to become a bit more intense. Ah, that one should have hit. But, oh no, he, he will take a shot, right? Yeah, the reason why he took a shot is burning means he cannot use his Psy powers. Too bad. At least we got the Archon. Overwatch, whatever that means. All right. You know what? More gremlin healing. And some haywire protocol. Just to add insult to injury. Yeah, we got that new... 160 hacking score. Oh, Zukuger, when it counted, you were letting us down. What is wrong with you? That's affirmative. Just hold still. Good. We're just moving in and out. Just to make sure that we're not taking two overwood shots. So we can move out, 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 and we can very much move out. Okay, cool. Then Scorch is going to be the first one to move and probably take a couple of overwood shots. My suffering increases. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, we don't really need to hit anyone with anything we could easily win that fight here but there is no point in continuing to fight if you've already won the mission take care See you all a little bit later. So we took some some damage, but nothing like particularly bad. Do I have to do everything myself? Oh, we're going to lose that poor fella there. Oh, he nuked him. And unfortunately, the Chosen didn't die. Uh, that was five damage, three from the nuke and two falling damage. But the Chosen didn't die. That would have been hilarious. Good, and we're back. So what's the status? We got one promotion. That's actually better than I was hoping we would do. Fantastic. So we only got 
a captain and the major left everybody else is at colonel stage hello commander and yeah our research just speeds up a tiny bit more at this point we really don't need that much research by the way i've built the icarus suit and haven't really used it that was a small mistake gotta remind myself to uh, to use it because it's actually pretty good Now we're up to 400 in... Oh, oh, oh. Our cooperation has proven to be well, fantastic. Got another colonel right there. What else do we want to do? This here could be a promotion. Plus uh, reduction, that's not bad. Mobility plus one isn't bad either. So nine days for mobility plus one. And all the potential targets that would really benefit from it, like the tier one group, is not available for it ah, too bad in which case it feels like we're going with another promotion might as well take jammer here and just continue to reduce that avatar uh, progress uh, that way we're at least preventing um, kind of additional uh, missions on any of uh, the uh, facilities. I don't like the UFO here. Fantastic, okay, cool. So, Hats received null lances training. I think we're going to go with uh, Soulfire, although Void Rift isn't bad either, but that is three to six damage, this is six to eight damage. And I want single target damage to get the hunter down. That's their main job. Damn it! I wish we could even speed that uh, speed up that pro uh, progress. Commander, that UFO contact <laughs> has us locked in. We have to take evasive maneuvers. But why? Game why? I was. I was being nice. There was no UFO here. Setting course for Eastern United and States. And you're being difficult for no reason. Oh yeah, wow. We're Who would have down, thought Commander. that we are being UFO shut down, right? Has disabled our systems. Brace yourselves. Well, it wouldn't be a true cycling run if it would not include a full shutdown. Commander, All right. Let me do that real quick. You know what, we're ending the uh, mission here. And the next mission will start with us being um, in uh, a difficult spot because we don't have any snipers. So we gotta work our way like all the way to the, uh, to the beacon there. And that's going to be a stressful scenario. If you like uh, to see that, uh, give a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And we're going to see each other in the next mission. Take care, everyone, and bye-bye.